only time to really chat with her was when we were on the radio. And, you know, she knows how to do interviews. She's been trained. She knows the right answers. And the problem is on that, so in that meeting, I learned nothing about Britney Spears as a human being. She was a great product, said all the right things, thanked her fans, um, said it's great to be in Britain. You know, all the normal cliched stuff that you could tick off in the boxes, and then she left. So my feeling was uh, Britney Spears. Yep, nice looking girl. Um, that was Britney Spears. That was a huge entourage. Bye. And off she went. Uh, next time I met her was when we were doing the Pepsi Chart TV show. And strangely, um, she was left in a room on her own because normally Britney's never left. She's got minders and people and mentors looking after her. She was still about 17 at this time. Um, and she was on her own in a room. And we were going to do an interview, but actually uh, the camera hadn't arrived. So we were actually sitting there for about 20 minutes having a chat, which was really nice. And in that time, what I found was uh, a sweet young girl who was desperate to do some normal things. She's just really well marketed and they've just made it clear from day one that she will present a certain image um, and that she must live up to that in every way. And I think that's where we've seen the changes through with Britney over the years. You saw Baby One More Time and the whole Britney brand at that time was about sweet and innocence but with a little bit of sex appeal. You move on to Oops I Did It Again and suddenly you're getting a raunchier side of Britney but she's still playing it quite safe. She's still got Justin on her arm and, you know, she's in a couple. She's still saying she doesn't believe in sex before marriage. But actually you're seeing a raunchier side of her and she's starting to grow up. Although it seems the dream life goes to places but never visits them. You know, she gets out of a plane, she gets in a car, she goes to a hotel, she goes to a studio, a radio studio, goes to perform, goes to rehearsals, plane and the same thing, you know, repeated a hundred times never gets to go anywhere, never does anything real, never been shopping in London. And she, that's what she wanted to do. She wanted to go shopping in London with her, with her friends. That would have been her dream. But actually, she couldn't do it because she had no time and wasn't allowed out and blah, blah, blah. And I remember saying to her, don't you think this is stupid? Here you are, you're famous, you're, you know, you're doing well, you've got some money. She goes, yeah, it'd be nice to be, able for, to be able to go off and do those things. And I'm sure that's the problem of a, of a lot of young stars. They've got the machine, the marketing machine, the management, the record company, the everyone around them telling them, go here, say that, be that, do that, look like that. And actually, there comes a point where I'm sure they just want to be themselves. So at that time, I thought, actually, Britney, she was a sweet girl. Actually, she was a sweet young girl because you see the grown-up, sexy, confident Britney Spears dancing in the video, and she was just like a little girl sitting down having a chat.